Welcome back to the channel guys. So today, as you can tell by the title of the video, we are actually doing something to the ST. I know I've been saying it for a while now, but um, yeah, I finally have a home for it. It is going to be living with the 431 brake horsepower Fiesta UFO as you guys know it. So the car is here. I'll just quickly show you where it's going to be inside the unit. So this is obviously where UFO lives inside this unit. We have enough space behind. So obviously when dad's not using his car, it goes back. The UFO is going to be at the front. So it is going to be living inside here and um, we get to do some more videos on this. So when we're working on my car, we can see what dad's doing to his at the same time. So if we just jump on inside the car, I'll show you what we're going to be doing today. Right, so the camera wants to sit there nicely. I'll show you. I have ordered, I've already opened the packet, just to check. We have some Audi A3 air vents to replace the uh, standard ones that are in the ST150. I'll show you, obviously, what we have here. And these ones are a bit broken. I'll say that one, they're supposed to move together. And obviously, where someone's tried to paint them, they're a bit scabby. So I wanted to change them. So, yeah, so we are going to start by basically just ripping out the air vents in here. I haven't done any Google searches or anything yet, but I assume we just rip them out and then hopefully, with fingers crossed that they just go straight in. If not, if we've got to do any like cutting and stuff, we can do that. So that is going to be my first thing that we're going to be doing to this car since it's down this unit is just changing this. Uh, I've got some uh, big plans that I want to be doing to this car, so it is probably going to be staying in storage for the whole of winter. Um, I've also just got like a cheap gear knob because the ST1 has fallen apart. But I plan on basically putting the original wheels back on that when I did the whole makeover of this car. Obviously you've seen like the goldy colour ones, they were very wide. I want to be putting them back on, so that means we have to go wide arch. Like, why not? I want this thing looking leery as possible, as low as possible, and I want more power. And I don't think there's any point putting more power into the Duratec engine because they're just not strong and they're not reliable, and it's already smoking and stuff anyway. So I think we're going to have to build a ZTEC turbo lump to go into this. And that means that we can be running twice the amount of power at, and be even more reliable than it actually is. So if we can get 300 horsepower, wide arch, stanced. <laughs> so we need to get on with this build. But yeah, first things first, putting these air vents in and then all that stuff's gonna be coming over winter. So we're gonna be doing a lot of content on this car and I can't wait to get stuck into it. So I'm just gonna see how easy this is to get out, but is that it? Easy as that. <laughs> we might as well just see if it slots in then, see what we've got for fitment wise, but. So what, we are so close. Oh my God, I didn't expect that to be that easy. Obviously we've just got some little tongs on the side of there, but if, if we can just get this to push in. Christ, that is like, I know we've got a bit of gap, but it's just a bit of trimming. We can get that in there. That, so just looking, comparing those two already, that looks so much better. Um, right, we need to just do a bit of trimming, so what I'm gonna do is get my drill with like a sanding disc on it and see what we're doing. Maybe it might be too deep, I don't know, but we're onto a winner already. Right, so our first problem is obviously getting this out. You can tell the difference between the the depth of the Audi one compared to the ST one. And that is what's stopping it from going all the way in because it tapers inside. Let me quickly show you. So inside here it tapers quite a lot. So what we're going to do is we're gonna cut the Audi one to the same depth. The only problem with cutting it, obviously the Audi one, we've got all these cogs and that's what closes the, the flap at the back here. Um, but there is two, where if you turn it to the side, it's got another cut off, so we can still have the air vent open and close, but we might get a little draft, but these ones let in a draft anyway, so 
it's not too much of an issue. So I'm gonna cut all of the Audi ones the same, well, I'm gonna do it slightly longer and um, see where we go from there. And then it should just be a push in because of how easy that went in just trying it before. I think this is gonna be a nice easy install to be fair. But before we get into cutting, I just wanna give a massive shout out to Centrifuge for sponsoring today's video. This is an oil diffuser that's run by USB. Um, it can be used inside your car. You can just put it inside your cup holder depending on the size of cup holders you have. So I have the diffuser just sat down here next to the gear stick where my cup holder is. And um, if you turn it on, hold the power button there, we have it. So you can have it just like a, a white light or if you hold it again, you can have it as an RGB light how well the camera wants to pick it up here. And then if I turn it on, blowing out a nice mist. You can have it so it's constantly blowing like that, or you can hold it again, and you can have it in three second spurts. But I currently have the scent Creed, as in the aftershave in here at the minute. It smells so good. It's just a little mist going off there. Obviously, different cars, it's gonna go in different places. You can have this on your desk or at home, anywhere that's got a USB port, and it just smells so good. And if you guys want one of these, I have managed to secure a discount code. I'm just gonna let it keep blowing off there. So if you go to centrifuge.co.uk and use my code Blake2020, you will get 10% off and free delivery. And um, make sure you get one of these. It's only 17 pounds. And then obviously with my discount code, you get 10% off free delivery. <sighs> smells so good. But let's get back on into the video. So. I've just basically annihilately cut it in half. Um, so obviously that's the flap that was left on the inside. That bit is cut off. And then we still have a way of shutting it close on the outside. Test fit time. Let's see what happens. Oh, no. We're close. We're close. Uh, I think that's to do with the ledge depth here. Um, so what I'm going to do, instead of taking it off the outside here, I'm going to bore the inside with a drill and a sandy wheel, and then see if we can, obviously we want to keep a bit of the ledge on the inside for that to stop at, but we'll see. So I'm going to bore this out quick. Do a bit at a time rather than taking too much off. Extremely close, maybe give it a... Oh, we're in. Happy days already. We have one vent installed. The camera's gonna focus there, look. We have one Audi Air vent installed. Obviously, they are slightly proud compared to the ST ones, but I guess that now does nothing because obviously that's what controlled the back one, but we can open and close and tilt it. Already that looks so much better. Happy days. So that is the process that you have to do is basically cut off this back piece here to get rid of that flap because of the depth. It gets thinner of the pipe on the inside. And then you just got this lip here that you just got to bore away slightly. And then you can install the Audi A3 vents. Obviously people say that you can only install the the TTRS ones, but obviously the Mark 1 TTRS ones. But they're just going for silly money, and I don't want any chrome on the inside of here, so... It can be done, guys. It can be done. If you wanted to install the Audi A3, I'm pretty sure these are the S-Line, but don't quote me on that, uh, air vents. It can be done. And that just took 5-10 minutes to install one vent, so if we do that again, in half an hour you can have all these done depending on how easy it is to get your vents out and stuff but right so i'm now going to repeat the process for all four right so that is now all four air vents installed so like i said a minute ago the outer ones were a nightmare to get out so i had to completely destroy them get them out and they were glued in so yeah i am well happy with that they look so much more stylish so going back from the start if you want these in you have to chop them down, so take like 50 mil off the back because they're too long. And then you have to, inside here, there's a bit of a ledge that you just have to sand off. 
I recommend using a drill with one of these sandy wheels on there just to bore that open a bit. And then just a bit of a forceful whack and they go in. So happy with that. Right, so that's all the vents done. So now I'm gonna put the car into the unit. I'm gonna give up with this whole gear knob thing because it's universal crap. Typically never fits. They give you all these sleeves and stuff, but none of them fit and it doesn't connect with the gator that I've got. So give up with that. Let's put the car in the unit. Right, so the car is now in the unit. Obviously UFOs under a cover. And then my Uncle Joe has uh, an old Fiesta here that he's going to be restoring and doing bits too. So, last thing I'm going to do until I leave is I've got some gel badges that Adam at Vision Designs made for me uh, using the leftovers of the vinyl that I had from the wrap. And um, we're just going to quickly change the Ford badge, put them on over the top, front and back. And I've got one for the steering wheel. So I'll quickly uh, put those on and then uh, we'll wrap up the video. Right, and that is it changed on the front there. It's a bit grubby, I need to clean the car, but that's the least of our worries at the minute. I'm just gonna come to the back and show you. It's on the back there as well. I'll say that one's a bit grubby because of my fingerprints and whatnot. But overall today, obviously we've got the gel badges on. And I've stuck one on the steering wheel as well there. Camera's not gonna focus, but we have the Audi Air Vents installed. So it's a bit of a, uh, how to install the Audi vent today, and as well as an update of what's happening with this car. I will be coming down here quite frequently, seeing as we now have a unit to work on things. I need to replace the drop links. And also I fixed a quick water leak earlier because the main rad pipe has been squashed by the air filter because that's just such a stupid design that's been put into that. So that will be being changed real soon. But once again, thank you for watching today's video, guys. If you did end up enjoying it, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, because there's going to be lots of updates. And I do reviews on other people's cars. We've got some cars lined up that are going to be doing real soon. And um, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.